Hello brothers and sisters and anyone who has stumbled across this video. Jesus said, I will never leave nor forsake you. You know guys, Jesus is always with you. God is omnipresent. But God can also manifest Himself to you. God can also fill you with His Holy Spirit. And you can also become born again. Your spirit and God's spirit becoming one. You know guys. But it, it is also written, draw close to God and God will draw close to you. You know guys, most times when God's children, you know, get a lot of demonic attacks or oppression or you know they they get trouble in their life you know guys um, whatever financial relationships health you know your mental health you know guys um, you know guys a work problem whatever it is you know something that the enemy puts his hand on something that God had his hand on you know, guys, just as God will never leave nor forsake us, but we can draw close to God. And when you draw close to God, if you maintain a closeness to God, if you maintain by praying each day, reading His Word each day, if you maintain a relationship with God, a closeness with God, you know, guys, as Psalm 91 says, I believe it's in some versions that says, under the shadow of the Almighty, or under the wings of the Almighty. You know, there is protection there. That's a psalm of protection. You know, when you're close to the Lord, where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Hallelujah. You know, guys, but for whatever reason, if you stop maintaining a closeness with God, if you stop maintaining drawing close to God, and God, you know, being close to you, you know, guys, the tangible presence, you know, guys, obviously God is omnipresent, but just like a sheep, you know, um, has the free will to yield itself to the shepherd. When the shepherd says, come over here, you know, whistles and all the sheep follow the shepherd in the same way, we as God's sheep, as God's children, you know, can yield to the calling, to the small, still voice calling us to go and pray, read the scriptures, you know, do what we need to do to be close to God. But if we veer away and we ignore the small, still voice and the good shepherds, you know, off ahead of, you know, off the field and we haven't stayed close to him, guess what? There are wolves out to attack those sheep because when the shepherd is not close by, when you veer away from the shepherd, you make yourself an easy target for wolves aka demons you know guys and in the same way in your prayer life in your everyday life as a believer in Jesus Christ a disciple of Jesus a born-again believer you know if I, I have found personally and we see through scripture you know guys how if we distance ourselves from God we make ourselves vulnerable for demonic attack we make ourselves vulnerable for financial attacks, for relationship attacks, for, you know, guys, faith attacks. Whatever, you know, attacks the enemy can get on you. Remember, our enemy's agenda is steal, kill, and destroy. You know, guys, our Father, our Good Shepherd's agenda is, you know, life and life in abundance. You know, is plans to prosper you to give you hope in a future to wipe away every tear you know guys to give you eternal life to keep you safe you know the Greek word saved has six different meanings from memory a couple of them are protected healed saved you know um, kept safe and sound you know guys God is love you know guys you know guys sometimes when we disobey God you know, it's not, and, and something bad happens to us. It's not necessarily God, you know, punishing us, but it's, it's, it's most likely us 
you know, coming, moving away from God's protection and then the enemy attacks us. It's normally when we disobey God and we go our own way, you know, it's like giving demons legal rights or an open door to attack us, you know, guys. So in saying all of these things, I want to ask you, my brother, I want to ask you, my sister, you know, have you neglected you know seeking the Lord have you neglected staying close to the Lord and now you have a demonic attack you know the enemy's got a foothold on you in some area in your life there's trouble you know you know did you stop seeking the Lord did you stop staying close to the Lord the reason is 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 probably because you didn't maintain that closeness with your relationship with God you know, guys, this may be the reason why we see, we see it all through Scripture. You know, guys, hallelujah. You know, guys, so what? So you might be saying, Brother Ben, what can I do to break this, you know, demonic attack? Well, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty in the pulling down of strongholds. So the first thing you want to do is attack the enemy. Tell the enemy to get out of the way. You know, guys, attack the enemy that's attacking you. Then you need to draw close to God. Hallelujah. You know, guys, in any ways that God shows you to draw close to Him. Some simple ways are talking to Him, reading the Bible, maybe singing praise and worship songs. If you have the gift of tongues, speak in tongues. Hallelujah. But I want to say to you, my brother, trouble does not last long. There is light at the end of the tunnel. God's grace is new every morning. Hallelujah. And, you know, guys, there is protection when we draw close to God. There is freedom when you seek God. Because where the Spirit of the, God, where the, Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. God inhabits the praises of His people. When you start praising the Lord, you're drawing close to Him and His presence, His peace, His protection, His clarity comes. Hallelujah. You know, we serve an amazing God. We serve an amazing God, you know, guys. And um, I'm so grateful <laughs> that God is love. I'm so grateful that God so loved the world that He gave His one and only begotten Son. You know, we, we truly, we serve an amazing God. And I want to encourage you to go back to your first love. I want to encourage you to go and seek the Lord. You know, guys, the message that I preach here tonight is a message that I too, at times, have not, you know, maintained my relationship or I have not maintained a, a prayer life. And at times I drift away from the Lord and then trouble comes into my life. But when I simply turn back to the Lord and start seeking Him. I didn't necessarily turn my back on the Lord, but I may have stopped seeking the Lord diligently. But when I go back to seeking the Lord, the trouble goes and the blessings start to flow again. Hallelujah. His presence starts to flow again. Hallelujah. God starts to use me, you know, guys, and, and praise the Lord. You know, guys, if this message was for you tonight, you know, guys, I want to encourage you to press like because it helps YouTube to spread this message to other people. Leave a comment, you know, guys, if this message has encouraged you or has spoken to you tonight. Rather, God has spoken to you through this video. Jesus loves you so much. There is no problem too big or too small for God. You know, guys, hallelujah. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. But God delivers him from them all. God makes all things work together for the good for those who believe and love him. You know, guys. Turn to God. He will help you. He will show you the way. And remember, under the shadow of the Almighty, you know, guys, there's protection there. There's peace there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God bless you. And thanks for watching, guys. Jesus loves you.